Hello, this is MKT311 coming to you with a another O gauge, another O gauge locomotive review. Today I have the Williams by Williams by Bachman 462 Pacific type steam locomotive in the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe road name. So let's let's jump right into this. And a little disclaimer before I begin the review. This locomotive is not a two-scale model. It is a semi-scale model, meaning that it is not fully to 148th scale. It is like this to accommodate tight radius curves like 036 and 031. So, with that out of the way, let's get for let's get into the review. So, starting at the front of the locomotive here, we have a nice pilot we have a nice die-cast pilot with a dummy coupler with a chain, which is linked to the drawbars, to the drawbar, which I think the operating drawbar is a really nice touch on this locomotive. Very nice touch on William on William's part. So up here we have our we have a headlight with various number boards. So you're below the headlight and on on the headlight. So mind you, neither mind you, the one on the headlight is not lit up. So moving up on the smoke box, we have some we have some we have two marker we have two marker lights. And to my surprise, these are actually lit up. These marker lights are indeed lighted, which which surprised me because locomotives of this what would I say of this kind of quality usually don't have lighted lighted marker lights. We also have a bell. We also have a bell which you can swing with your finger over here. That's very nice. So moving down the engine. We have very nice add add on detail. We have the um we have add on handrails, add on we have some add on plumbing going down this side of the locomotive and on the other side. We have our air compressors. Also have a very nice very nice um the running gear on this locomotive is also very nice as well. See I do admire it. So on the top of the boiler we have your smokestack where you can pour some smoke fluid down so where you put your smoke fluid down say and i personally don't usually i personally don't really like the smoke fluid that much since it's it's not really smoke it's kind of like a vapor which gets all over the tracks and it gets all dirty and such so here we have our sand dome with a 3430 on the side of it also have some cast in detail some cast in sand lines going down to the drivers moving back we have our steam dome and the whistle which unfortunately on mine it was broke during so it broke off during shipping, so I'm going to have to fix that later. We also have some pop-off valves back here. We also have the, um, our dy we also got a dynamo back here. We got also on the back of the boiler, we have some very, more very nice cast-in detail, including these stay, bo stay bolts and some of these steps. Moving down, we have our firebox with yet again more nicely, ca some very more nice cast-in detail with the rivets and this, the rivets and such. So in the locomotive, so here we have the cab with some more very nice cast on detail. And this roof vent actually opens to my surprise. So this one just kind of flops open, but it's very nice, nice touch. So inside the cab, don't know if you can really see it there. There are two hand painted crew figures on the inside of the locomotive cab. See, so the cab does, so the cab is lighted and there is a glow in the firebox. I will show you the back head later once the engine is all lit up. Here we have the engine's tender, which is this is made out of plastic, unlike the locomotive, which is cast. It's cast iron. It's all cast. Um, so the tender, the tender is plastic. It does have die cast trucks. It has very, very good molded in rivets and such. Some nice hatches back. Some nice molded in hatches back here, which do not open. And we have a plastic, we have a plastic coal load. It's all molded, molded in, much like the rest of the tender. Coming around to the back of the tender, we have the, um, we have the, um, amount of coal. We have maximum coal, max, we have maximum water, maximum coal. We have a road number yet again, 3430. We have a step ladder coming down the back and we have a lighted headlight. We also have the, um, also have the rear, also have the rear coupler over here. So let's get the let's get the engine fired up here. See what see what else it has to offer. 
So, another disclaimer is that this engine is, in fact, conventional control. does not have anything like Lion Chi for um, Rail King or anything like that. It is good old-fashioned conventional control with a transformer. So, here's my CW80 Lionel transformer. I got in a star set a few years ago, so I'm going to be using that to power the engine here. So right now I have the locomotive in neutral. So if I go back up to the front of the engine, you will see the headlight is has a very power a very powerful light in the headlight. So, and like I said, the marker lights do light up. So if I come back here to the locomotive cab, you can probably see you can probably see inside a little better the firebox glow in the um, the cab light. So, so let's listen to the engine's whistle. This engine does have digital sounds, I forgot to mention that. Here's the bell. It has very nice sounds, in my opinion. It is a very, very good engine. So, without further ado, let's get her running. So... I have the engine out of neutral, it's going to go backwards at first, so. so there goes the locomotive running backwards. So right now it's back in neutral. And there it goes forward. So I have hooked up the engine to some Grand Canyon boxes, some Santa Fe Grand Canyon boxcars I got from Menards a couple weeks ago to basically demonstrate the engine with some with some rolling stock behind it. So, so let's get underway, shall we? my review on the Williams by Bachman 262 Pacific Type locomotive and the Santa Fe road name. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great day. This is MKT311 signing off.